record flooding ravages China, as experts warn a major dam could collapse. Welcome back to China Uncensored. I'm Chris Chappell. Heavy rain has caused unprecedented flooding in 27 Chinese provinces. That's 27 out of 31. Economic losses total close to $12 billion, affecting nearly 34 million people, with more rain expected in the coming days. According to the Ministry of Water Resources, 212 rivers have exceeded alerting levels since early July, with 19 of them rising to historical highs. And the rains keep coming. More houses collapsed into floodwaters and thousands more people were displaced in the past several days as rains and floods moved further into eastern and southern China. China's biggest river, the Yangtze River, is overflowing. In some places, it rose 15 feet above the average ground level of the nearby cities. Though somehow, this 700-year-old pavilion survived. That was from a time when made in China meant quality. China has a flood control emergency response system with four levels, with level one being the highest. Currently, it's at level two. Wait, this could get worse? I guess if you see a guy with a beard collecting two of every animal, that's when it's reached level one. 38 million people have been evacuated during the flooding. But all this flooding is raising questions about the Three Gorges Dam. It's one of the world's largest hydroelectric dams. It's had a devastating environmental impact and has displaced over a million people. The Chinese Communist Party justified its construction by saying it would help control floodwaters on the Yangtze River. Except, right now, there's the highest floodwater in recorded history. Some experts are saying that the dam actually makes flooding worse long term, by moving the sediment in the river and disrupting normal flood patterns. The dam is releasing floodwater, but on top of the floods that are already hitting the region. And there's an issue with the water speed when the dam releases water as well. It's been over a week since China's Three Gorges Dam started to release flood water. An expert says the water speed is 25 times more powerful and potentially damaging than a natural flood. One expert is warning the dam may collapse. Chinese authorities have said that the dam is fine and there's nothing to worry about because the dam still has capacity. Now, there have been concerns about the Three Gorges Dam for years. Last year, satellite images that appeared to show the dam warping started rumors that the dam was in trouble. At the time, dam officials said the warping was fine and within the design limits, while the central government said the issue was with the satellite images and not the dam, which is probably less reassuring than they wanted. With all the flooding in the Yangtze River, the days of the river turning blood red don't seem so apocalyptic anymore. But this really is a disaster for millions of people in China. So please, keep them in your thoughts and prayers. And now, it's a time when I answer questions from you, my loyal 50 cent army, fans of the show who support what we do through the crowdfunding website Patreon. William E. Williams asks, Chris, can you explain the mandate of heaven that seems to be talked about now? Now, that's an interesting question, William. The idea of the Mandate of Heaven has been around for thousands of years in China. Basically, if the rulers of the country are good and virtuous and can create harmony between heaven, earth, and humankind, well, everything is good. The emperor has the Mandate of Heaven and the right to rule, and the nation will prosper. But if they become corrupt, natural disasters and other problems will arise, which are signs that the emperor has lost the Mandate of Heaven, which meant the end of one dynasty and the beginning of a new one, historically through things like invasion or internal rebellion. And guess what? The Communist Party is really corrupt. Recently, we've seen Hong Kong protesters carrying signs that say, Heaven destroys the CCP. That's the Mandate of Heaven idea, that the CCP is corrupt, so the regime is going to collapse. Of course, the party has a solution. Make carrying those kinds of posters illegal in Hong Kong. But really, they should do more. Like, make the mandate of heaven illegal. That'll solve the problem. Thanks for your question, William E. Williams. 
And for all of you watching, consider joining the China Uncensored 50 Cent Army. You'll have a chance to ask me questions on the show, and there are some other cool perks as well. Check out patreon.com slash China Uncensored to learn more. Once again, I'm Chris Chappell. See you next time.